this collection was about uh, was like an an eternal kind of uh, wandering around like a sleeping city um, of Firenze, so my hometown. And uh, this woman, as she walks through the fields, she picked up uh, all of these images. Uh, she picks up on she picks up this like blowing dandelion flowers. Um, and uh, on her like classic uh, fluid uh, black uh, Giulietta dresses and then uh, uh, there was a whole graphic part that was inspired by the Duomo and the architecture of uh, the churches in Florence a lot of graphic black and white contrasts uh, and it's like yes it's like if she's leaning against these buildings and uh, she gets these projections of uh, graphic uh, shades and that's how uh, all of this uh, graphic uh, implicit pieces were inspired um, yeah so at the end she doesn't really know she was dreaming or she was really like walking around the city Okay, amazing. So uh, we know that you are sometimes inspired by cinematography from the 1960s. Are there any films in particular that help to influence this collection? Um, this season, not really. I always look at my mother's pictures also from when she was a girl. And I have one uh, of her in front uh, of the Duomo and sort of that started off the whole, you know, sort of touristic rendering throughout the city idea. Wonderful. So you mentioned that coming away, coming from the black Gillette dress, that that's where we get a lot of the colors. Is anything else influenced your color choices or your fabric choices for this season? We always have uh, this beautiful passion red because it's a very romantic color. It's really dear to me. Uh, and then this season we had uh, the idea of this beautiful nude skin color because uh, again it was the idea of like accentuated the projection of like the black against her skin. Um, and then we had also this beautiful blue color that uh, came from some of the stones that you can also find in Florence. Okay, great. Now, uh, last season we had a lot more midriff from you, a lot more separates, and this co collection had a lot more dresses and one pieces, and that's a trend that we're seeing. How did you make that choice and why? I have no idea. My husband says that we designers probably all call each other before the shows and then we decide to do the same things. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, always more, I'm always passionate about dresses and so and last year it was about uh, like being by the sea so I really like the idea of like the midriff and the lace skirts so that's probably why because she's around the city so she's not really showing too much of like who would you say was the Gilletta customer? Describe her to me. Um, I think she's a, she's like a, I would say she's a professional uh, woman. I can imagine like somebody kind of confident who likes to, uh, to look beautiful, but at the same time, uh, she, she sort of shops uh, with care. I like the idea of our pieces to, you know, be part of a woman's wardrobe for a long time. Finally, what's next for you after this? Obviously, the show was gorgeous, so what's the next step for you? Um, I hope my husband's going to take me somewhere on vacation, <laughs> like at least for two days. That's what I hope. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much for this interview. And again, I'm here with Sophia Sitsi, and we just had a wonderful time at the Giletta Runway Show. Thank you.